Hello everyone, Lil Dude here from Overachiever. Today we are covering a beautiful story through the game Yes Your Grace. You play as King Eric and you struggle to make the right decisions between your family, your kingdom and your life. If you like our videos, leave a like and subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon to see when a new video is uploaded and check our social media for a heads up regarding what we are doing next. Check the timeline in the description to help you navigate through the achievements. The game is divided into 50 weeks and your job is to balance your gold, your supplies, as in food, and the villager contentment. Across this guide, we will show you how to get all the achievements for a thousand game score and some other tips to help you along. Try to please as many petitioners as you can, giving them gold, supplies, or agents. In return, they will give you villager contentment and that will give you more money and supplies in taxes. In this case, 20 villagers mean 11 gold and 9 supplies. When you get agents, as you see in the right column, you can unpay them for the upcoming week, but that will prevent you from using them and sometimes that means not satisfying a petitioner, resulting in a decrease in villager contentment. Some of them only want one of three things. Don't worry, you can check a week to see how it goes and then reload it. Make sure to also buy as many upgrades as you can, listed in the left column. They will also help you with resources besides unlocking achievements. If you get stuck somehow, you can reload up to 8 weeks back as you see here. This will also help you with some achievements. Buy some stuff, get the achievement and reload to not lose money. Another thing to watch out for is your army. You will need the numbers for the battles. You can raise them by inviting lords when they are available and satisfying their needs. But we cover enough in this guide to give you sufficient army. We will talk numbers when we get there. Enough chit chat, let's dive into the achievements. You will need two playthroughs to finish everything, as you have one big achievement that stretches all over the game and nulls other achievements when you attempt it. We start with some fail achievements, fail as if we as players fail. We talked a little bit about resources and if you have negative gold, you will lose the game and the pace to short achievement will pop. Don't worry, you can reload. If you run out of food, the we won't eat tonight achievement will pop. And if your villager contentment is negative, the villagers will revolt and demand gold and supplies. If you don't have enough to give them, you will lose and the I don't need people, oh uh, wait, achievement will pop. Now we will go through the achievements in the order of the game. This order is defined by the week you start the achievement steps. For example, an achievement starts at week 3 and ends at the week 16. This doesn't mean that there aren't others between weeks 4 and 15. We are in week 1. Go to the stone wall, climb up and on the right you will see a cat. Pet it 3 times and the oof what's that smell achievement will pop. This should be possible in the next weeks until the wedding. This guy will come with a business proposition in week 3. Give him 12 gold and the I have a business achievement will pop. The guy will come back in week 5 to talk profit. Tell him that 1 is too low and ask for 3. It works with 1 as well, but why not make more profit? If you choose 4, the tavern will bankrupt. He will be back in week 14 to ask for protection. Choose you should be happy with the extra money and then give him 28 gold. One last time he will be back in week 16 and the I am an entrepreneur achievement will pop. Back at week 3, if you go in the council chamber, you will find Sedani there. Talk to her and give her a nickname for the Hey There Little One achievement. This could also be done later whenever you talk to Sedani for the first time. In week 5, you can go to the gardens and practice sword fighting with Asalia to get the Just Don't Hurt Yourself achievement. You will have from week 4 to week 9 to buy all 3 preparations for the wedding as you see in the left column, flowers, fabric and the band. If you manage that, 
the last straw party achievement will pop before the wedding. In week 7, a drunk guy will ask for your help. Give him one gold. He will return in week 15. This time, give him 7 gold. He will return for the third time. This time he is sober and he will thank you and the little help goals a long way achievement will pop. In week 8, you will have to go and talk to Lord Sulia on the stone wall. Don't tell her I love you, tell her you will be fine and the cold heart achievement will pop. In week 9, after the wedding, the this couldn't end well achievement will pop. In week 10, Lord Ethan will talk to you. He will have a proposition. Tell him that would be great. Next, invite Lurs. Tell him I've heard about the spices. I've heard enough and I will first talk to Ethan. Invite Ethan back. Tell him I will see what can be done and let him leave. Invite him again. You will receive a strange message. Tell Ethan that the message is for him and send the general to Beltoise. Invite the Lord one more time. Tell him I've done your task and the fantastic achievement will pop. Somewhere between these achievements, at week 15, a man will sell you a rooster. Buy it and a fine saddle for a hedgehog will pop. Before you start, I am a king and a detective achievement, which is a little longer, beware that a fantastic achievement will probably upset Lurs and you will need him for this one. You can reload to be friendly with Lurs. You have to get three items, a tooth, a letter and a file. In week 10, go in the dungeons, talk to the guard and get the tooth. Invite Lena to your castle. And ask her about it. Go in the bed chamber and take the needles. Then in the gardens. There will be a crack in the pavement. Use the needles and you will get a letter. Invite Grego. Ask him about the letter. Then ask the general to investigate for two weeks. Get his response. In week 17, you will get a mysterious letter and a hidden hut will appear on the map. Send your general there. It is important to do it in this week, so make sure he is available. After that, a strange man will come with a request and a witch will help him. The witch will become your second agent and the it's time for magic achievement will pop. The general will return and will give you the file.
Go to the council chamber and ask the witch to investigate the file. The witch will return. We will invite Lurs. Once again, if you have done the Ethan achievement and didn't reload, this won't probably work as Lurs is upset. Ask him about the file. In week 27, there will be a small event with Sedani and the Hunter. After that, the Keep the Monsters at Bay achievement will pop and you will have your third agent. Ask the Hunter to investigate the tooth and all the requirements for the achievement will be met. But it pops at the trial where you can do another achievement. If you want, you can check them in the council chamber. After week 28, at the trial, you will talk to all the people and then be asked to sentence someone. Refuse two times and Audrey, your advisor, will take the blame and the thank you old friend achievement will pop. If you have done everything, finally the I am a king and a detective achievement pops. After the trial, you will talk to Lorsulia and Ivo will appear. Confront him and the I will show you achievement will pop. After week 29, there will be a fight. Before you start, if you have bought all 6 upgrades, Stables, Training Grounds, Carnival, General, Witch and Hunter, the I've got this achievement will pop. The last three are essential in the battle if you do not have enough troops. I did it with 600 plus troops, but in another playthrough I did it with only 500 plus. So if you have 600 and use the agents correctly, you should win it. First, put the archers to fire. When the green smokes come, ask the witch to remove it with magic. Sound the horn for more archers. When the monsters come, use the hunter and again horn and archers. And when the fire starts, use the general. Sound the horn again, and when the soldier comes to you, tell him it's not the end. Eventually, an avalanche will come. If you have more troops, you can miss some of the agent's help. And the, this was tough achievement pops. Invite Grego. Tell him that you will take them down right away. Go in the bed chamber to get two paintings, one of the mountains and one of a stork. And then, go in the council's chamber and get the third one that is right in the middle of the room. In week 32, a painter will come to sell you the fourth painting. Invite Grego back. And after you give him all of the paintings, the empty world's achievements will pop. In week 31, you will have the King's Summit. After it, Varik will want to marry Asalia. 
refuse him and don't invite him from now on to the castle. If you have refused Varig and indulge Asalia's relationship with Maya, in week 47, Asalia will ask to leave. Let her go and the nothing can stop love achievement will pop. Help the Radovian in week 34. Spare the Radovian king in week 40. Spare the Radovians at the gate in week 46. At the summit, the god to help where we can achievement will pop. At week 39, you will be asked if you agree with the ritual. Say, let's do it. We will continue the ritual achievement later as we have other stuff to do until then. At week 41, let Sedani keep the bear. Again, for another achievement later on. In week 43, buy all the gemstones from the fortune teller and the I believe in magic achievement will pop. Make sure you have enough gold. 62 to be exact. After you end week 44, there will be a small cutscene and the farewell my daughter achievement will pop. You can do the one I love achievement after Aurelia tells you she is pregnant. First, take her wool from the council chamber in the right. Take the needles from the bed chamber somewhere middle right and combine it with the wool. Get the fabric from the stone wall and combine all of them. Bring them to Aurelia and the achievement will pop. Before you start the ritual, if you don't want to miss an achievement, Make sure to buy all the upgrades, 6 in total. Quick recap, the Master of Dark Magic achievement starts at week 39 when you agree to the ritual. You will have to get some items for the ritual. Week 47 is the last week you can get the book from the council chamber if you have allowed Sedani to keep the bear. It is in the second bookshelf from right to left. On a side note, in week 48, when you talk to Sedani, let her keep the bear for the second time. You can get the rest of the items throughout the game, but it is simpler to get them all in week 49 as the two vendors come one after another. Get two betony oil and one mugwort from the first vendor that comes. Two basilisk eggs from the second vendor. And the mushroom from the dungeons. You can't see it in the inventory, but it is there. The witch says something about another item, but it is not necessary. Talk to Aurelia in the bedchamber until you have only these two options and then go to the throne room. You will be able to end the day. The green and purple icon gets color and the ritual can start. At the ritual, go to Aurelia and say I'm ready. Then say this. We beg for forgiveness for calling upon you. We ask you to give us what we desire. Let the mountain break. After that, place two betony oil in the middle dish. Cool, yeah. 
Mugart oil and one basilisk egg in the right one. And the last basilisk egg in the left. Continue the ritual and say exactly as the witch says. For me, there were lines number 3, 1, 2. and 2. If you got it right, the master of the dark magic will pop. As I already mentioned, if you get all 6 upgrades before the siege, reinforcement gate, reinforcement wall, build a moat, ballista, hot oil and mining equipment, the prepare for the worst achievement will pop after the ritual. For the final battle, I had 200 plus troops and I think even with fewer it should be fine. Pretty much straightforward to the end of day 1. At night, give supplies around and talk to the soldier on the right and tell him you want to rest. If you let Sedani keep her bear in week 41 and in week 48, a soldier will come and you must be fast and send a hunter. In the castle, the bear saved the situation, and the R achievement will pop. Continue the fight, and when you get to the part where the enemy enters the gate, choose I need to get to my family. At the summit in week 31, you had three kings to talk to if you remember. When I finished the game, I had two allies with me. I don't know if it affects the winning factor, but if you don't win the first time, try more troops, more upgrades or more allied kings. After all the cutscenes and the aftermath, if you manage to keep Sedani with the bear's help and Aurelia at the ritual alive, the Family Matters achievement will pop. You will read about every character and about their endings and the Yes Your Grace achievement will pop. We still have three achievements and we will do them in a second playthrough. One is the Mad King and the other ones are related to the Mad King. So we have to do some tasks along the way. Start by killing the deserter. You can do it right at the start of the game or at the end. Kill the Radovian in week 2. In order to kill Jovan you have to do the next things. Invite Jovan. Invite Sir Friedrich. And Noxki. Tell Noxki that Friedrich set a trap. After one or two weeks, Jovan will come to the castle and you will have the option to punish him. Do that. After the summit in week 31, ask Varik to come to the castle. Tell him he can have Asalia's hand and at the end of the week Asalia will live with Varik and the whatever it takes achievement pops. Tell the general to get rid of the Radovians in week 34. Execute the king in week 40. Hang all of the Radovians at the gate. At the summit, you will get the There Nothing But Barbarians achievement. Reach the ritual and mess something up. Aurelia will die and if you have done the 6 tasks, kill the deserter, kill the Radovian survivors, kill the king, kill Jovan, give Asalia to Varik and of course this one, the Mad King achievement will pop for the 1000 game score. 
And that was it, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the game and our video and if you forgot to like, subscribe or check our social media, it's a good time to do it. As always, keep popping those achievements!